was. And uh, I would put them up against just about any any Euro team back when they were scrimming. I wouldn't say they would be able to win, but they could definitely hold their own. And uh, unfortunately, they broke up too. So I am without active team. Makes me kind of sad. A little, yeah. little bit sad. So now I'm over here with PlayStation. And uh, I think we're going to be going live this time. As uh, we have AOX on the uh, what is this on the Chinese side or Russian side rather, and uh, we are going to be seeing right out of the gate a very heavy push going up through mid, and it looks like Charlie's going to be going over here towards Rampage right from the get go. We have uh, Zermi pushing back up, able to pick up one. That's going to be within X-ray right there, but he's going to be uh, getting some help here in just a few seconds. Nice job getting some back rages going on, and it looks like they will be able to control that Alpha flag. As uh, we do have uh, recovery now, trying to make their way in through metal detector. He's going to be pushed out there, not going to be able to survive their two man push, and that's going to be too much. Crevo, though, going to be over here on Bravo. Gets shot out from elbow, so right now we are going to be seeing uh, RPG just kind of getting messed up all along here, and we will be seeing AOX start to push them outside, and that if they get pushed out to that Charlie map, that is going to be bad news, but it, it does look like we are going to be seeing a possible trip cap coming in here. So, yeah, pretty interesting start out here, Raj. It is, yeah. We've got AOX cap and C. They've got A, nice and secure. RPG are going to have to work back. They look like they're doing an A push. But, uh, but yeah, so it's looking good so far for uh, AOX. They're set up where they want to be. Yeah, absolutely. Jen going to be pushing in. A very heavy push coming in here into a medical. Spots out one, dies. Decides not to get that last kill, but uh, we are going to be seeing RPG just basically out zerging. And uh, we are going to be here on the merry-go-round. Look at this. We have uh, Exert uh, going to be pushing in over here onto Bravo. We have one more going to be going over on the Charlie. That's going to be Crevo. Uh, but Mike Sag going to be pushing in here onto that B flag. Spots out two. Going to be able to pick up one. Can he take the second one? He does. He gets two piece. Nice shot. Spots out a third. And he will be able to push him back. Gets back rage, though. So that's not going to be good. And it looks like they are going to be able to clean this up. Nice job from AOX. Spots two more coming in from mid. And it's just crazy right now as we do have the trip cap coming in for RPG. 205 to 193. They do have the bleed heavily in their favor. This is definitely not looking good if you're an AOX fan. No, exactly. I mean, the, we've, we've seen before that those small ticket leads, it, you know, it, at, at the moment it's a 20 ticket lead. That's a big lead. It doesn't seem like it, but with the, the highest sort of ticket bleed, this is uh, it's working really fast for RPG, and they're still holding this triple cap. Yeah, they are. And, you know, it's kind of interesting, too, because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to say that uh, you're wrong, but you did say they were the better fraggers. And we're just not seeing that right now. If you look at the KDs, RPG definitely doing a lot better job in the frag department. And nice pick up there on Jen as they will be able to get the res as well as pushing in onto that alpha flag. So they might be able to pull themselves back out of this. Nobody sitting back there for RPG to defend that flag. In fact, they are playing very, very aggressive. And they might be stuck in sort of the zerging feel of the map. Uh, Dez going to be coming around with that M16. Nice pick up there on Mike Sad. And now he will be shifting back out there towards that Charlie flag. Uh, but do they have enough here to hold on to this alpha push? I mean, we, we only have one against three basically going to be coming in. And uh, really, just nobody uh, getting in any kind of good defensive position here for either of these teams. No, I mean, AOX, are, like, they're doing what they can, but like you say, it's the, it's the fragging that counts. And AOX at the moment having a, well, struggling a little bit on that front. Um, they've only got two men alive at the moment, and they're doing a little bit of work on B, but they've got an RPG push. So uh, AOX need to up their uh, infantry game a little bit. Yeah, recovery coming around. Nice pickup there on Bugsy, but they will spot that push out. They are going to be able to get onto this Bravo burn. Nade comes in. Will it be able to be taking him down? No. Ends up surviving. Nice job there. But uh, that Bravo flag still going to be flashing. Can Exert hold on? We do have a push coming over for Charlie flag. Spots him out. Doesn't look like he ended up going for that C push. Saint is going to be back up. He spots it out on Rock. Oh, my God. Two-man push coming in on Rock. His teammate saves him narrowly. Nice job there. And it does look like we are going to be seeing Jen pushing back, uh, realizing, hey, I'm low on health. I need to uh, need to definitely get some teammates to spawn in on me. And uh, he's going to be going back towards that alpha cap. And I think he might actually get a nice back rage here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, AOX finally getting set up where they needed to be again with that AC cap. But, um, but no, the back rage didn't work. They picked him off. There's 1v2 here. Yes, they did. Mike Sad, though, going to be pushing and saving that flag. 
He will be able to get the res as well as the burn on it. But as this is happening, we do have a push coming in. Uh, that's going to be Dez with a nice two-piece there as well as the res. Definitely holding it down for his team. Uh, let's take a look right now at those uh, KDs we do have. Uh, let's see, look at this. We do have a 13-5 and five for Dez right now. And uh, so actually they have a couple of really good fraggers on AOX. They're just not getting onto the flags and deads ends up going down unfortunately we do have uh, bugs though four and ten that's that's not good that that's definitely not good uh and then recovery going ten and four over for rpg he's definitely hamming it up right now as uh, the alpha and bravo flag will be in their possession what this is going to do here is force them outside of the uh, of the map and it's very hard to get in because there's those three tunnels and basically well i mean you know how hard it is a frozen effect that they have going over there very hard to, to push in and see anything when that happens yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, again, you know, the AOX have picked up the right amount of kills here. They've uh, managed to get the flank into A, and again, managed to get themselves into that position again. But they just need to hold it for a little bit longer because there's that, still that 30 ticket or 25 ticket lead now uh, in favour of RPG. Uh, they're in the position they need to be. They just need to hold it a little bit longer. Yeah, absolutely. 148, 125. They're still looking really good right now, and this game is by no means over at all. Uh, we have plenty of tickets here to play with. But uh, we are going to be seeing a two-man push coming into medical. Mike Sad coming around for the back rage. We'll be able to pick up one. Sees another one. Not going to be able to be successful. Jim, though, coming in from the side. Can he pick up the third? He does not. Dez narrowly living there. Nice job with those reses. And I got to tell you what, he is just playing so well right now. We do have Bugsy going down. Uh, Exart and Saint both going to be outside that map, so that's going to give A flag back to RPG. Once again, going to be able to hold it down. And are we going to be seeing some defensive positions? Ooh, we do have a push coming out. Are we going to be seeing a cheeky knife? Oh, I thought there for a second we might be seeing a knife kill, but no, we were not. Exert going to be the first man onto that Bravo flag. And uh, right now, Raj, what what do you think that? Uh, I mean, from what you're seeing right now. Do you think that both of these teams are just they're, they're just not feeling too confident within their defense here? They they just feel like they have to push in for those uh, aggressive uh, aggressive pushes. Yeah, yeah, I think they do, and it's uh, sometimes you've got to change things up a little bit. And everybody knows that, that AC cap that's uh, that's what they need. But sometimes you've got to change it up, and if if you can't get to that one flag that you want, you sometimes have to go to the other one. And uh, there seems to be that they they seem adamant at the moment to keep this AC cap going. Yeah, and we are going to be seeing a uh, switch, though, as right now, Alpha Flag just going into the favor of RPG right now, but Bravo and C, there for a second, was in the favor here of AOX. Now, this is going to allow them to even that up just a little bit, and now they're going to be getting on to that Alpha Flag once again, and I think that uh, Zermi will be ready for this push. Spots out one. Nice job. Can he make the kill? He does. Jin end up going down, but can he make the stop over here on, re on Recovery? as he makes it in. No, he does not. Nice pick up there as well, but we're going to be seeing another one pushing in. Beautiful job here on recovery. That's going to be a two-piece for him, as he is now 17-5. and five. Definitely beasting it up within that KD category. Uh, Dez going down once again. Uh, Bugsy, 5-14. and 14, Not doing so hot here. And, you know, this is kind of what we were talking about before, Raj, is, is the transition from going from that one-life uh, diffuse to going to a respawn game. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, I mean, you know, Bugs is uh, as good as an infantry player as anybody, but just must be having a bit of a bit of a rough day. But um, I don't know. Give him give him time to warm up. I think we'll uh, I think we'll still see. It. I'm still saying AOX at the moment. Um, still think, uh, as I said to begin with, possibly the better fraggers here. He's still an AOX fan, holding true, holding Maybe. strong. Hey, I know how it is, man. <laughs> I'm Epsilon all the way, okay? And even when they're losing, I'm, I'm rooting for Epsilon. So uh, we're going to be seeing uh, Recovery pushing back up through here with that Magnum using that uh, scope because he's going to be fancy. Nice pick up there on Exert as they will be able to take him down. Spots out another one. Reloads. Oh, my God. How did he survive there? Doesn't matter because we do have a push coming in from Medical. Jin spots this out. Going to be giving chase right now, but I don't think he has to as his teammates will be able to pick that up. Nice job. And uh, we are going to be seeing still more pressure coming in here onto this alpha flag. Yeah, and uh, RPG just doing a really good job there of just taking them down on alpha, making sure they don't get in any further. And they've, they've forced them to go for the B push, which is what I was saying earlier. Sometimes they just need that little bit of confidence to say, you know what, we're going to go for the C and B cap. We're not going to keep fighting A because RPG are doing a great job at holding them off A. Yes, they are. They are doing just that right now. Bravo flag getting contested, but white knight there with the stop. 
And uh, he's going to be able to cancel out this burn quite a bit. Ends up going down, but that may give his team just enough time to get some massive spawns coming in here. Mike Sad going to be rotating back over. And uh, he will be getting down on that burn. Spots one out with that FAMAS. Not going to be connecting with any of those shots. Now Crevo though, going to be pushing back up with that M16. Nice job. We'll be able to get the res on his teammates there. Oh, another one goes down. Mike Sad, can he hold it? He is going to be very low on health here. Only 58. Does manage to get the spawn off on Crevo. And they're just going merry-go-round right now. Pills, pulls out that pistol. And finally gets the pick up there. So nice job. B-Flag will be remaining into their favor. But we do have a back spawn here from Dez. Still staying alive. Still going to be able to get a couple of picks. But finally getting wiped off. And that right there is the wipe that we were talking about, Raj. I mean, yeah. it's happened over and over again. And we've seen it at least twice now with a three cap going in favor of RPG. Yeah, exactly, and it's again, that's that fragger thing. I think we're going to consistently be talking about this, but RPG are proving me wrong at the moment with uh, the better gun skill. Um, doing a great job at defending their flags, and, well, you know, they're in a perfect position now. They've got this uh, quite a large ticket lead now. I mean, it's uh, AOX are going to have to do something spectacular now to pull this back. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it, it's not it's not any one person that's really doing it for them right now. Uh, you know, it, it's just all of RPG is really just across the board holding strong. Nobody's really shining out for him. Uh, unless, you know, unlike AOX right now, it's 25 and 15 is Dez, as uh, he's really been able to uh, just push it up. You know, 10 and 20, 13 and 13, 12, 20 and 12. Actually, Exert's doing fairly well for himself as well, as he will be able to get the revive there, but not enough. As 89 tickets to zero, we are going to be seeing Rampage taking that first round. Yeah, it's... Uh... Again, it's a confidence thing, isn't it? I think uh, AOX will learn from that. I think they'll go into the next one a little bit more confident and hopefully, again, like I say, just uh, sometimes accept the fact things aren't going exactly as planned. You know, they can't keep this AC flag hold, so maybe you need to uh, to back off, change up your plans a little bit. But, um, you know, we've, we've everyone knows AC is the best plan, so I don't know whether they'll uh, they'll continue to do that or not. Yeah, Absolutely. And uh, so we are going to be going in round number two with the 89 ticket uh, advantage here for RPG. So definitely going to be hard. And uh, I, I do apologize, guys, in chat. Um, I do not have – this is my second account, so I do not have uh, any ability to, uh, to change the settings. Uh, the best I can tell you is to just try and refresh, and hopefully we can get it going from there. But uh, – uh, if you guys can get it up to 60 viewers, we will be getting a quality button. So if you can tweet it out to your friends and family, make sure they join in. Once we get it up to 60 viewers, it should switch over to the quality settings, and it should go all good and fine from there. But uh, until then, guys, I do apologize. This is the best I can do right now. But uh, anyways, we are going to be going in round number two. should be going live, and we are going to be doing just that, as I believe everybody's still in the server. Yes, they are. We don't have recovery spawning in just yet, but Bugsy will be getting that first touch onto Bravo Flag. He will be able to spot it out. And first blood goes to Jin here, as he will be able to take down two. Bugsy, though, taking out Crevo. So nice pickups there. Going to be able to get the uh, revive as well with that uh, with that nade so nice job and uh raj what do you think that we we need to be seeing here from uh aox again i uh goes back to the, that infantry thing doesn't it i mean they need to start picking up their kills a little bit i mean jen has just gone off to a screaming start here going five and zero already at the beginning of the game and that's got to be playing on their aox's mind losing those gunfights it just adds that little bit of pressure as well no doubt and let's talk a little bit about the gun that he's using he's using that famas and it's been it's actually becoming a fairly popular gun within PC players as well. What's your thoughts on that? I, I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not a fan myself. I'm not a fan, but um, I've seen it in the 5v5 diffuse a lot. It's uh, maps like lockers where you don't really get that long range sort of uh, or medium range fights. It's so it's so up close and gritty that the for mass. I mean, you just can't beat it. It's, uh, it's the rate of fire is just uh, it's just good enough. You just don't need anything else, really. But, uh, I mean, you see Bugsy using it now as well. Yeah, he is. There's quite a few players in the servers using it, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, it, it, there's probably, a, I would say, about 50% of the players, maybe 60 or so, using the uh, FAMAS right now. Bugsy ends up getting taken down right now. It's going to be a two-man push coming in onto that. Uh, oh, my gosh. Sorry, guys. I'm just not used to using the PlayStation uh, controller for casting. But uh, we are going to be seeing, uh, it looks like, recovery with the pickup there on Saints. And they will be able to take that alpha flag for themselves. But we do have a push coming in here for uh, for AOX right now. 
Dez going to be able to spot out one. Takes him down. That's going to be recovery uh, getting shot from Metal Detectors. But now a uh, back rage coming in. Nice pick up there from Dez recognizing, hey, I'm getting shot from behind, but it's not going to be enough as uh, Crevo ends up cleaning that up. And now we will be seeing another push coming in onto that alpha flag. I think it's a, a crucial now here. We've got Z Zermi and uh, Dez as well here by B. They just need to hold down that B. They need to keep a double cap uh, just to get these tickets down because RPG won the last round with an 89 ticket lead and that's, that's a massive lead, you know, going into this round. Yeah, it, it really it really is not that good. I mean, 89 tickets, it, you can come back from it. But from what we're seeing right now, they're, they're doing all they can just to keep it evened up right now, let alone get a uh, any any sort of a, a lead going on within this map. Now, we are going to be seeing Zermi, though, with a pickup on Jin. Spots out one more over there next to Bravo. Beautiful kill there on Crevo, as he will be able to take him down with that FAMAS. Gets the revive on his teammates here. So Zermi's definitely holding it on for his teammates. Can they uh, hold on long enough so that they can get onto this actual flag? And it looks like they will be able to do just that as Dez coming in, mopping up the rest of those players, just being a beast right now. Recovery goes down. We have uh, Exerts now. He's going to be trying to uh, show his montage moments right now as he's going to be able to spot out one, seize him, but not going to be able to get the pick. That was a nice pickup there by Carivo. And uh, Zermi's coming around for the side raid. Spots out, I believe that was Carivo. Nice job there on that pickup and going to be able to hold that Bravo flag. So uh, at the moment right well, now, Raj, well. what uh, what exactly are you are you seeing here? Because you're you're not a dom comp player for fives, you're a diffuse guy. So so what right now? What decision? What changes? If you were the shot caller, okay, right now for AOX, what would you be making the changes? I think we're seeing here they're making a bit of an effort to go to C, and that's I think what you've got to do. But it's so easy for us to say it because you know we know where the other you know we know where the enemy are. We can see the five RPG guys doing you know doing a really good job of defending B, and um, you know AOX are doing the right thing right now. That's what I would have said. Go for that AC cap. That's what they wanted last round. They try it again now, and if it doesn't work, then change the plan again. All right, so uh, yeah, I mean that 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 makes sense right there. Uh, we do have uh, Jen coming around over here onto Bravo. He's going to be playing a little bit of defense. Nice game sense though, recognizing that hey, they're probably going to be pushing through doors here, and he will be able to pick up a nice pick there on Dez, and get the revive as well on his teammates. And he is going to be in a very good position here to stop any kind of a push. And uh, he will be able to spot out two. Will not be getting the pick there as he does miss a lot of those shots. Dez, though, going to be coming in as uh, he does end up getting an assist on one. But I think that's going to be too little too late as uh, we're going to be seeing Dez going down, his teammate also getting shot, and now it's all going to be up to Saints and uh, Exerts now that are going to be outside. We do have Exerts up on top of Fan, but they're pushed outside of the map. And this right here is the dominant position. And look at this. We're having RPG basically uh, just shift right back over. They know what's up here. And I think RPG just might be the next big Dom team here. Yeah, I know. I just I was literally looking at that right then. I mean, they they got the kills. They knew they got the kills, and they knew where the enemy team were. I mean, RP yeah, sorry, AOX were just sat outside on C. As you said, it was Exertex and uh, Saint. They were just sat outside, and instantly RPG knew where to go. They pushed over to A, and they're doing a great job of defending it now at the moment. Yes, they are. Jin with some more pickups there. Let's see, what is Jin right now? As he was beating up thirteen and one. <laughs> that is ridiculous right here. Make that 14 and one as he's going to be able to take down Zermi. My gosh, this guy is on fire right here. And is this what we normally see within Diffuse? No. No, this is special. Jen is on fire. Jen is on fire. So basically what Raj is saying here is Jen is a scrub and Diffuse, but for some <laughs> reason, and I'm just joking, guys. Uh, but uh, we are going to be seeing some awesome play coming out from all of these players right now as uh, this is a new mode for them, and for whatever reason, it will not let me switch players. So we are going to be switching back to Jen here as uh, he gets popped up a little bit. 15-1 and one, once again, just staying alive. And uh, he definitely watch. doing a beast job. B-Flag will be getting flashed right now. We see uh, Recovery and Crevo uh, both going to be on that flag, getting that burn for their teammates. And we are going to be seeing, once again, AOX stuck outside of the map. I mean, this is just a brutal setup. 110, 157. They have uh, basically, you know, like we said before, 87 tickets, you know, against them. And, and they're already down. So they have definitely yeah. got to be kind of just a little worried here. Like, you know, what, what do they do? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's make or break. There's 10 tickets until uh, the map goes to uh, RPG, and it's, uh, well, 
it's looking like it's going RPG's way. They've got to seriously step up at the moment, AOX, to try and pull at this back. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, if you're wondering why he's saying that they only got 10 tickets, we are going to be basing this on tickets, not rounds. So each one of these maps tonight, we are only going to be playing two rounds. Uh, to be able to take a point, basically, you will have to take a map. One map equals one point, and it's going to be a best of three. But, uh, yeah, so once they go below that magical number of 87, they will not be able to, uh, to take it. And there it goes. They are going to be down below 87. So right now, they're just going to be playing for pride. Yeah, absolutely. I think Jen's going to be going for the KD a little bit more. Unfortunately, he just went down a minute ago, so that's 18-2. and two. But, oh my, this just doesn't happen. 18-2. and two. Uh, Jen is on fire. Well, well, not only this, but look at this. 15-8 and eight recovery. 19-2 Jen. 12-7 and seven Crevo. And then, you know, 12-4 and four Mike Sad with White Knight pulling up the rear 7-6. and six. He's still going positive. So, yeah, that's just, t just crazy KDs going across the board. While if we look over here on AOX, 9-11 and 11 Zermi, 13-12 uh, and 12 Saint, 9-10 and 10 Bugsy exerts only 6-9 and 12-12 and 12 and 12 to Dez. Dez actually, uh, which was top fragger for his team in that last round, uh, just not really able to make anything happen this time. And it, it really is showing how hard it is to uh, to get back within this map. Now, I will say this, though. We aren't seeing too many setups. Uh, ooh, ooh, nice pickup there. Uh, as White Knight just basically walks into a storm of uh, players. But, uh, you know, once these teams start to figure out their uh, positionings, their placements for uh, where to defend these flags, where to attack, where spawns are going to be happening, I think we are going to be seeing a different game uh, coming out of this. But right now, RPG just proving that uh, at the moment, if you have good fragging ability, you will be able to take this match. And look at this Bugsy, a one-on-three situation, will not be able to come out on top. He does end up going down, but not before taking a few of them with him. Zermi is also going to be back up uh, right now within X-Ray. Spots out one with those nades, will not be able to connect with any of them as uh, he is uh, trying to get some more picks. He, w he wants his uh, KD to be a little bit better, but it's now eight, uh, A and C flag are both going to be in the possession of uh, AOX. So they do have the burn, but uh, how long are they going to be yeah. able to keep it? I don't know. Des got, has uh, got the lucky sport on B there. So, I mean, again, AOX in the position they needed to be earlier, but at this stage, well, we all know now it's a little bit too late. But... Uh, but no, I mean, AOX, they're in the right position now. They're, they're picking it back up, which should, in theory, make the next map uh, a lot more interesting. Yeah, and uh, what what do we have for the next map again? It was Dawnbreaker or Zavod? We, yeah, we've got Dawnbreaker next. Yeah. Dawnbreaker next. So that is definitely going to be an interesting one here. Because I would say that Dawnbreaker uh, kind, of mimics, uh, kind of mimics lockers in a way. Um, it's not as circular. You know, it's a lot more linear. Yeah. And uh, so it's a little bit easier to get, you know, some spawn traps going on. But, uh, you know, it, it, it definitely is going to be an interesting one, especially because it is close quarters, which means that it's going to favor the FAMAS usage that we've seen so much here tonight. Uh, it's, it's really been FAMAS. Have you seen anything other than FAMAS, AEK, and M16? No. Just, it's just that, isn't it? I mean, I'm yeah. surprised that there seems to be a lack of Ace-23. You usually get a lot of Ace-23 and competitive, but that's not on tonight. But, uh I wonder whether it's the map. I wonder whether Zavod especially, and I imagine Dawnbreaker too, they might see an Ace-23 be pulled out. Yeah, absolutely. It, it is kind of interesting that we haven't seen uh, anything else. But, uh, you know, then again, high rate of fire guns, very small map, nice two-piece there, as they will be able to pick that up. That was Dez there that picked up Jen and Crevo. And uh, now they will be getting onto that Bravo flag, the only flag that it looks like they are going to be getting. And it looks like that was the last player there onto the actual B flag. Zermi going to be pushing back down once again. Spots at one, two. Will be able to make the pick on one. Another with his pistol. Not going to be connecting with any of those shots. Now Saint goes down. And that is it. Another triple cap in favor of RPG. And that's what you were talking about earlier, about that, that those B spawns. You know, when they've got that AC cap. And uh, they're heavily pushed on B. I mean, you, you saw it. AOX spawned in B, and RPG were all over them instantly. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we are going about to be uh, finishing out this round. It's going to be about 12 minutes into it right now. We are going to be seeing uh, C flag going in favor of uh, RPG AOX, or I'm sorry, AOX, and then RPG taking control of that Alpha Bravo flag. And uh, actually, let's see if uh, Mike Sack can make a mo montage here as uh, he will be able to spot out three players shifting back over. Teammate's going to be able to take down one, will not be able to get a frag for himself. But now Jen following a back up 15 and 8. Or I'm sorry, Jen 31 and 5. Oh my God. <laughs> Dropping that 30 bomb. 
And that is wow. going to be it there. 91-0, to zero, finishing out the second round. Very strong. So Rampage just looking super, super good using this new domination game type. They are. They are looking really good. And it was like I said at the very beginning, we uh, there's a little bit of... Uh, AOX took a little bit of a break. They've been a little bit slow on games recently. So it's... Uh, I wonder whether maybe the, the RPG have been a lot more active within the last sort of two weeks. I wonder whether that's playing a, a you know a big role in tonight's game. Yeah, that, that's a be good interesting. point. Because not only is it just times you know time that they're not uh, playing, but it's also time that they're not playing together. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I think there's been uh, personal issues within the uh, within the team. Um, yeah, I know that some of them haven't literally haven't had a, had a PS4 for the last couple of weeks, and it's really slowed things down for AOX. So, um, yeah, that'll do it. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Saint it didn't have a PS4 for a couple of weeks, it, and then uh, and the same happened to Bugsy. They seem to they seem a little bit cursed, but um, but RPG, like I say, been active. They've played quite a lot of Diffuse in the last couple of uh, days, and that's surely got to be helping their chemistry. Yeah, no doubt about it. So, uh, anyways, guys, uh, once again, I, I do apologize for the stream. There's nothing I can do about it right now. Uh, I'm going to try and tweak it for the next time. But uh, as of uh, as of now, just try refreshing it, and uh, I mean, we're going to have to go with it. All of this will be posted up on YouTube later, so if you guys want to check it out. And it won't be all glitchy and, and stoppy and buffering and stuff like that on uh, YouTube, so you guys will be able to watch it in all its glory. As uh, you know, we have Raj here, who's just just being such a, a great, great co-caster here. I gotta tell you oh. what, the wind underneath right. my wings. Was that, was that too far? I think that was too far. It was, anyway. it was a little. It was Anyways. a little bit cliche. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, guys, we are here casting. I am Brett FX, joined here by Raj. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. You can follow me at, on Twitter at Brett FX, and uh, your Twitter is Raji, R O G E Y B F. Am I correct? Yeah, that's right, yeah. There you go. Follow him on Twitter. He also streams as well. But uh, we are here for the ES ESB scrims. And uh, we're hopefully going to be casting on a regular basis here on Tuesday nights. It's not going to be set in stone. Uh, if we can get some other nights, we will. Maybe some Saturdays, maybe some Sundays. Uh, just spread it out all through the week. And uh, we should be changing some maps here pretty soon. But uh, uh, we're going to be trying to cast as much as possible. No, we have lost the connection. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, so it looks dear. like we had a slight little problem there uh, from uh, getting the maps changed, maybe. I'm not really sure, but uh, right now we are going to be waiting for those servers to uh, to fill up. Yeah. And then we should heading, should be heading right into it. But, uh, uh, but anyways, if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing here, uh, definitely you can, uh, you can tune in for later times. I am not going to be casting full-time on this channel. This is kind of like a test channel. So you can follow, uh, but most of what you're going to be seeing here, guys... Um, after probably about two or three weeks of me casting on PlayStation 4, it's just going to be my, my pub games, and nobody wants to really see me fail. But if you if you do, uh, or Rage, you, you can hit that follow button down below, but uh, you can follow my main channel, uh, BrettFX, just straight up, twitch.tv slash BrettFX, and uh, I cast more than just PlayStation 4. I cast uh, WEL 10v10s, I cast uh, 5v5 uh, Sevos, I cast, my, main, uh, my main casting right now is ESL. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be casting the uh, group stages for the ESL one, and that is uh, up right now that that tournament is a thirty thousand dollar or thirty thousand euro prize pool, so pretty awesome stuff there. That is five v five Dom. So what you are seeing right now, and uh, it looks like they did get the server back up. So let's go ahead and join. And uh, yeah, so if you want to check that out, you can do so. Also on Sundays I will be casting Go Four Cups. So if you guys are interested, you like what you're seeing with Domination, you want to see a little bit more, uh, well, the PC guys, that's all they really do. Uh, they're kind of snobs when it comes to Diffuse, and uh, they, they don't like it. And uh, it kind of sucks, because i got to admit, I like watching Diffuse. It's, uh, it's, it's a really uh, weird game mode, because I'm, I'm watching this Domination now, and I'm thinking, hmm, I'd much rather be playing uh, uh, Diffuse. But, um, but no, I think it's just... Uh, just a, a matter of time, isn't it? Until these teams start to settle down, the PlayStation community really learns how to play the five v five domination. And uh, well, we've we've got PC which are showing us the way, but uh, it's time for us to learn it ourselves. Obviously, the same for Xbox One as well. Well, you know, I think that uh, I honestly think that the way to go, and we kind of spoke about this in Skype a little bit earlier with some of the admins. 
I think that the way that we're going to be seeing it be more successful and more mainstream to the general public is going into a multi-mode or multi-game type event. Uh, it's not going to be just Diffuse. It's not going to be just Domination. It, it, it's going to be a, a combination of those game types. And then as well as Small Obliteration, when that comes out, uh, you know, that, that right there is going to be making a difference as well because uh, we're going to be able to throw in three game types. And that should definitely be pretty interesting. And it's going to be crazy. I think um, it's it's absolutely everything that you know we need uh, as a community. Of Battlefield Four being a pretty, uh, a reasonably small sort of a competitive game at the moment, but it's got such potential. And with uh, big, big companies pushing it forward um, as they are now, and the teams playing the games they're playing, I, you know, and just the thought of having uh, a three game mode tournament just sounds sounds brilliant. Sounds really good. Yeah, absolutely, and they must have heard us talking about Diffuse because it switched straight to uh, Dawnbreaker Diffuse, and yeah, so they're having a little bit of trouble getting the uh, server to switch over. Once again, servers just came out here, guys, so uh, you know the people are still kind of getting used to it right now, of how they work, how to control them, how to get them uh, set up. But uh, yeah, so pretty exciting news here for the PlayStation community. I know, I, man. I tell you what, Twitter just exploded on me today, as uh, yeah. you know, what was it about ten o'clock or something for, in the morning for me, anyways? Probably around, uh, probably around four in the afternoon for you. It just all of a sudden yeah. went just boom, like oh my god, private servers are out! Woo! Mm. Yeah, and it's uh, going back to what we were saying there. You can see in the chat here a lot of people saying you know, different mixed opinions on uh, diffuse versus the domination kind of. Uh, conversations and what I find brilliant about that is you get those tournaments and you've got 5v5 domination in that tournament but you've also got 5v5 diffuse so I mean everybody's a winner um, and uh, it will really in my opinion show us who the best teams are not just who the best domination teams are not the best diffuse teams but who is the best overall infantry team and uh, like I say it's big news for the competitive Battleford 4 scene and it's uh well, it's just where we go from here is next. It's uh, very exciting stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I completely 100% agree with you there. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be big big stuff here. I mean, in the next couple of months, we're going to be seeing some big changes. Obviously, we're going to be seeing more events coming out. Uh, I believe, uh, did, didn't Xbox just announce their new 1K event? They did. Yes. Yeah, I think that's uh, hosted by um, Level BF. I think that yes. one is. So um, that, that looks really exciting. Again, I... Um, look into it a little bit more self to know the uh, the ins and outs of it exactly but um but no i think they've they've got big plans for that and the xbox guys on uh, level bf are doing a really great job of pushing that and at one thousand dollars that's uh that's big money yeah yeah absolutely you know 1k can't be scoffing at that especially for a 5v5 oh. now uh, i'm not really sure if it's 1k winner takes all or it's a 1k prize pool but uh, either way uh, the winners are going to be getting a uh, hefty sum of money for playing some video games, and you can't beat that. What's really going to be <laughs> exciting, though, and what I'm really looking forward to, is what is UMG going to be doing with uh, with their ladders? Uh, they are, uh, they have opened up their ladders to both Xbox and PlayStation. So, you know, it, it, I'm really curious to see, you know, what what they may do with it. it. You know, if they see an explosion of growth within the PlayStation community and Xbox community for Battlefield, because I know that some teams have even said that they're coming back. Right. Yes. Yeah. I think um, now that now that uh, the private servers are out, which was what a lot of teams were waiting on, we're going to see a hell of a lot of big teams coming back, um, and uh, we might even find, like I said earlier, that we've got these teams who are from their separate league teams. I was wondering whether we might start to see a few of these big teams actually saying, you know what, I'm uh, I'm, I'm done with this team. I'm actually going to go back and play for my league team. Um, and we're going to form our own team, and it's going to it's going to be there's going to be a lot of change going on, a lot of people jumping from team to team, um, and uh, well, it's going to be really interesting. I mean, especially since though, you know, there's that idea of touring of obliteration as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know that that really is uh, exciting news right there. Small obliteration. When I saw the screenshots on Reddit, the first uh, videos and first screenshots, I went freaking nuts. Um, I actually have a notepad somewhere. Yeah, it's sitting right over here on my desk. I have a notepad, and it has about five pages of notes on how to run an event with a multi-game type event that would last, you know, one weekend with eight invite teams 
It was going to have some money involved with it, all kinds of good stuff. And then I got the bad news that, oh, by the way, it's a glitch and we're not releasing it. I was like, what? Say what? Oh, it broke my heart. But, you know, when does Battlefield not break your heart at some point? I think it, I think everybody <laughs> has their heart broken with Battlefield. I, and, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, so uh, anyways, and uh, uh, so we are going to be here on Dawnbreaker, and uh, we do have all 10 players within the server. Once again, guys, I am sorry that uh, the stream is lagging for you. Uh, my bad. It will be up on YouTube later if you guys want to check it out, um, but uh, there's nothing I can do right now. So we'll have to tweak the, the settings and uh, try and get that fixed for a later time. But uh, anywho, we're going to be here on Dawnbreaker. Now, an interesting thing about Dawnbreaker here is that the Chinese side is usually the harder breakout side than the U.S. side. Most of the time what you'll be seeing is, now if you go with the Euros, they, they have a light, uh, what they'll do is they'll suicide, and I think it's the third person on their suicide, uh, then they spawn on top of that person, and what it does is it allows them to actually, that they spawn on top of them, and then they can actually step up onto the, the uh, the ditch area right here so you guys that are watching my screen the little ditch right there is where the Chinese team spawns in they can actually jump up in there get a really quick uh, route right straight through that Bravo flag and uh, get some spawn bombs going in there and then one usually goes up on top of Alpha and they slow push down so but a lot of times here lately we haven't been seeing that being successful now knowing that this is PlayStation 4 and that you guys haven't really played a lot of 5v5 Dom if any at all then, you know, that's a uh, reason to see that we might not be seeing that actually happening. And uh, I believe we are going to be going live. Is this live? Yeah, I think I think this is live. This is live. And, uh, yeah, so just forget whatever I said because the spawns were completely different than what they are on PC. They I don't were, know what yeah. the deal was there. As, no. um, it, may be, it may have something to do with the fact that this is... A PlayStation 4 server, so they may have something different within the servers than they do on PC. I don't really know. Or maybe the new update. Who knows? But right now we are going to be seeing Alpha and Charlie Flag both going to be going into the possession of RPG. And uh, that means that we are going to be seeing a quick gimme flag take. Zermi going to be watching long A right now. Doesn't look like anybody's going to be pushing down it just quite yet. Crevo though, pushing down into that Bravo flag. He will be able to get the touch on that uh, on that flag right now. Getting the burn, winning it for his teammates. But we have a massive push coming in. Recovery with the stop on one and two. Nice job as he's going to be stopping that back rage completely in his tracks. Now Dez going to have to follow that back up. Let's see if he's going to be trying to make a push over here towards long A. Uh, Exert's going to be able to uh, spot out one in Skybridge. Throws a nade up there. Just trying to get a little bit of damage. But uh, I think we are going to be having White Knight here shifting back outside. Gets taken down. So what's really going to be interesting here is what is the shift here for RPG? It looks like Recovery looking like they want to come back. Recovery spots out one and two. Not going to be making the second pick. Ends up going down. Uh, Crevo going to be following that back up, though, as uh, he will be able to get that pick. Uh, cannot get the res, and instead of checking for that second person, tries to go in for the res, ends up dying. Uh, Jin is going to be back up. What is Jin using? Is this the F2000? I shall we'll have to have a look at this. It is the F2000. All right, that that scope threw me off. I thought there for a second it was a an airburst gun, uh, from the uh, from the scope, but uh, it obviously wasn't. But Mike Sad uh, getting taken out over there next to upper side, and now Dez going to be doing some work over here into lobby. So uh, now we're seeing uh, AOX starting to to completely flip this around, and now it's going to be a trip cap here, just a few seconds in their favor. Yeah, they've, they've done really well. They've uh, struggled a little bit at the beginning. RPG got set up nicely, but they did everything they could, and they got some really big kills. Dad's picked up a few big kills at the beginning there, and, um, well, it's in ALX's favor right now. It's looking good. Yeah, massively. What do you think has changed from uh, from that Lockers map to uh, to Dawnbreaker? I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's really hard to say. I mean, looking at the kills... Um, AOX looking a little bit more confident. You've got Zermi going seven and two, Dez going six and two. Um, you know, Bugsy and Saint having a little bit of a tough game, but again, I mean, Crevo and Jen, you know, they're not off to the start they were last at game, especially on lockers. 
Yeah, absolutely. We are going to be seeing uh, Mike Sad with a nice pickup there on Dez. They're going to be pushing heavily up here into that Bravo side of the map. Jen is going to be leading the charge over here onto Alpha. Takes a lot of damage. Has to back up, but he's going to be getting reses or uh, reinforcements here in just a few seconds. Comes around the corner, and uh, he will not be getting uh, taken down there. I thought for a second that he would, but now it's going to be a three-on-two situation. We do have Bugsy uh, going to be able to get the squad suppress on one with the uh, assist. Gets up getting taken down. Exert's going to be back up now. And uh, he will be able to spot out that last player. It looks like they were taken down. Yes, they were cleaned up. Alpha Flak will be remaining over here for AOX. So they are definitely looking good. In that double gimme situation right now, Saint Soldier going to be up above. Bot Batman kills. And he will be able to take him down. Nice job there. Uh, Crevo ends up going down as well as recovery. And yeah, so this is looking like a completely different AOX team than what we saw on Lockers. Yeah, and I think we've uh, we've hit the nail on the head. It's uh, it's gunfights, gunfights, gunfights. Crevo going one and six at the moment, having a hard time, and it shows. You know, uh, AOX literally about to pull a triple cap, and Dez is just raking in the kills. Yeah, absolutely. And there we are going to be seeing those back C spawns coming into effect as we have one more triple cap. What they have to do be careful of is those random spawns back behind A, but it doesn't look like we are going to be seeing any of those from RPG. They are going to be able to take control of upper side, but on the C, uh, on the C side of the map, it's really not that effective as there's going to be plenty of cover down there into Bravo. We do have Bugsy, though, taking quite a bit of nade spam, narrowly surviving with three health. But the push coming in for Jin, will it be successful? We'll be able to take down Bugsy. Turns around the corner, trying to be fancy with that Magnum. Not going to be making any shots there. But Exert, though, nice play up here on Planners. Yeah, it's, uh, again, it's keeping the kills coming, staying pretty composed. Uh, well, AOX, 60, a good 60 ticket lead here. And this is uh, well, it's just like watching a different team. Yeah, but, you know, hey, you got to hand it over here to, uh, to Dez. Look at this. 19 and 4. <laughs> like, I, wow. think he, I think he took a cue from Jin on that last game. And he's <laughs> like, you think you're good with dropping a 30 bomb? Watch this. Now Crevo's going to be back up, uh, trying to shift back over here towards that Bravo flag. Spots out one back behind. Statue will be able to make the uh, the kill. So nice job there on Zermi. And now he spots out two more spawning back behind. Nice pickups there. Can they finish it up on the last play? They do. But they, they're still, they're back in this two flag, or this uh, this one flag setup, where really, AOX is just, they've been really dictating the pace of the game here. Yeah, it's, again, it's uh, like we said, it's like a different team. They're picking up the kills. Dez is, Dez is doing a really good job, 19 and 6, 20 and 6 even now. And uh, RPG picking up a little bit of momentum. They just need to settle down a little bit across this B flag and uh, do what they were doing last game and just play a little bit smarter choose the pace, and uh, again, just use that chemistry that they know they've built up over the last couple of weeks. And we are going to be seeing just that. Look at that alpha flag now going to be flashing. We do have a three-man push coming over here uh, next to Sky Bridge. Dez going to be back behind. Does he want to go for Bravo? Does he want to go for Alpha? Looks like he's going to be going down here onto that B flag, getting that burn. And uh, did they end up cleaning this out? Now they have Dez with a nice pick up there on recovery. And it looks like they will be able to get that pick on uh, on Bravo flag. Crevo goes down. And that's actually going to be a close to a wipe. We do have RPG spawning in back over there next to Charlie. Zermi is going to be up as well. Looks like he's going to be making the push over here towards Alpha. And he will be met with, I think, two players here. Jen uh, pushing out through metal detectors. They know he's here now. And Zermi does end up going down. And does he spot out this third play? He does. Nice job there on Bugsy. We'll be able to pick him up. So we are going to be seeing, it looks like, it looks like RPG is going to be coming back into this map. It's not over yet. First round, nobody's really taken any kind of a um, a super commanding lead. I mean, it's only 87-133. That's, that's what, like 40 tickets? I mean, that, that can definitely be flipped around fairly easily. Yeah, yeah, we've uh, absolutely. Yeah, it's never, it's never over until it's over, really. Um, again, it, it's RPG. Just got to go back to what they did on lockers, play a little bit more composed. And you know, we were talking about I mean, a second ago. They, they really did. They settled down. And again, they're doing it now, just chilling out, playing a little bit smoother, using the chemistry, and just trying to pick up those kills. Yeah, I like this positioning here from Exert right now. He's up on upper side, and if he stays alive right now, Zermi could get a spawn. 
uh, over there and, and, and try and harass that Charlie flag. And that's exactly what happens. Zermi spawns in over here. Uh, we do have uh, Jin, though, shifting back out. Will he be able to clean it up? He's going to be able to spot out one and two. Nice pick up there for Jin as he will be able to clear upper side. And that's going to be a lot of pressure taken off of RPG. Now Dez going to be shifting back around to that Charlie flag. And uh, they will be able to get the gray out on C. Looks like they will be staying alive. Nice nade coming in there. That was Jen once again with a pick up there on Bugsy. And uh, he's starting to be picking it up just a little bit. But now, look at the transitions here for RPG. It's just looking like it was on Locker. As soon as we're seeing AOX going in for a flag, RPG's coming right behind them and taking their, uh, their back flag. So we're really just going to be seeing RPG uh, kind of just playing a merry-go-round, if you will. Yeah, they're getting that nice line set up there. RPG in full control of the map here in B. Um, you just need to be careful of this AOX push and again, just pick up those kills and keep, keep it together with each other. Yeah, absolutely. Dez with another pick up there on Jin. They're going to be making a mad, mad dash over here uh, towards Alpha. Actually, let's take a look over here on Recovery as he will be able to uh, get a nice side rage going on here. Spots out one and two with a nice double pickup. Going to have to reload here in just a second. Spots out a third. Not going to be able to connect with any of those shots, but it's okay because he allowed Jin to spawn in on him. There goes the frag. Nice pick up there. Nice teamwork. They do lose Bravo in the process, but look at the tickets now. They've evened it up. 75 to 84. And now, oh, another beautiful pick up there by Jen, as he will be able to take down, I believe that was Dez on that Bravo flag. Zermi's going to be back up. And uh, now we're seeing this becoming a very close game here, Raj. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can see, it's, as we said, never over until it's over. And uh, RPG have just proved that from a 50-ticket lead. I mean, not going in their favor at the moment, but from a 50-ticket from a deficit, there's now only 20 tickets. It's, uh, it's a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's a huge deal. And uh, now it's going to be 60-81 in favor of uh, of AOX right now as they will be pushing back in over there onto that Charlie side of the map. Going to be looking at that for that last uh, uh, reinforcement here from Jen. But Jen going to be caught out into the open, not going to be able to survive. Ends up going down, but once again leaving Bravo completely undefended. But Bugsy there with a very clutch kill. Will he be able to survive? It's going to be a two-on-one, now a three-on-one. As we'll be seeing RPG just sending everybody back to that alpha flag. And I definitely like that move. A and Bravo is probably your strongest hold on this map. And we are going to be seeing Dez getting taken down. But look at this. Zermi sneaking around on long A. And he might be able to uh, get a massive spawn bomb back here and cap this flag. Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, no, it's... Uh... Uh, it's definitely uh, it's definitely looking good. A AOX uh, starting to uh, to you know still hold their slight lead. They just got to keep it going. They've got to keep this AC AC cap, and they've got people in the right places. They just got to get the spawns in, pick up the kills, and uh, well stay alive really. Yeah, absolutely. Bravo flag uh, will be completely undefended except for one player. Bugsy going to be making his way back in onto B, and a lot of nade spam going to be coming in. Nice push in. And he will be able to get that uh, gray out onto that flag. We are going to be seeing lobby control going over here for RPG. But, oh, a back rage coming in from Exert. Nice pickup there on Jen. And that's going to open that up quite a bit. And allow them really push in onto that Bravo flag once again. Take it. But as that's happening, we're going to be seeing Charlie flag going back over into the hands of AOX. Yeah, it's, uh, it's flipped here. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be so close. 20 tickets lead. 20 <laughs> ticket lead, and that's nothing. It's uh, in favor of RPG, and RPG just need to re remain composed and keep this going. Oh, a bad nade there from Mike Sad. Has to back up. He's definitely feeling a little bit sad about that. And uh, we are going to be seeing three flags actually getting contested at the moment. Exert is going to be able to stop this push on one player. That's a recovery. He ends up taking down, and they are going to be able to clean that up. And uh, once again, we are going to be seeing AOX in this, this nice little you know double gimme situation here as uh, Crevo. Uh, he's going to be up top on lobby, see if he can get some nade spam going in there. But... Uh, we're actually seeing some really good nades coming out from both of these teams. Fairly surprising, as they're not using those RGOs. In fact, they are using the regular standard uh, grenades and uh, doing some massive work with them. But uh, 14 tickets left on the board. Crevo going to try and get up to that Bravo flag. Spots that one in the sky bridge. Uh, can he make the connections with those shots? No, he can't. Ends up going down. And that right there actually could have been uh, really a game-winning moment, taking out two of those players. And Zermi going to be able to do some work as well. And that's going to be it here, I think, as seven tickets left to go. Bleed in favor of AOX. Three to 40 44. 
So nice game there, Raj. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. AOX just needing to hold their spawn. Again, that's a, it's a great start. It was like watching a different team, and it's just the kills. And I think uh, that was uh, Dez saying, Jen ain't got nothing on Dez. <laughs> exactly. What was the kills there for uh, for Dez? Got 36 to 15. 36 to is... 15. So it wasn't quite 31 to 5, but he definitely beat him out <laughs> in the kills. He's, uh, he's uh, yeah, you know, step step aside, Jen. Step aside. But one thing I do want to note or want to point out here is that if you look at the KDs for uh, for RPG, they're all fairly the same. And uh, if you look over there onto the AOX side, Dez is really the fragger, the top fragger for that team. I mean, he was doing really well in lockers. He was doing really well in uh, in Dawnbreaker. I mean, as you just saw dropping a 30 bomb right there. I mean, that's just that's just huge. Uh, so, uh, um, yeah, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I got a message over there on Skype. But uh, anyways, just doing a really well, uh, doing a really good job overall. And uh, we are going to be switching sides. We will be seeing, and I'm kind of curious as to where they spawn, because like I said before, on PC, they always spawn in Ditch, if they're China. And they didn't this yeah. time. They spawned over no. there, they, they <laughs> actually spawned over there on, by Upper Side over on Alpha, didn't they? They did, yeah, it was uh, yeah. really strange, Yeah, that's really where the, That's was... where the pub spawns are. So this, it may be because the server, nope, nope, see, there we are. We are going to be seeing the Chinese spawns coming in here for uh, RPG, as they kind of got the shaft a little bit, and uh, they will be pushing back up onto that Bravo flag. Why is it doing the whole blurry thing? That's annoying. Uh, but we are going to be seeing, it looks like uh, two players going down onto that Bravo side. We have Zermis though, going to be back up, getting a couple of picks, get shot over there from the bus, and that's going to be Jen there with a massive back rage. Not going to be successful, uh, and that was not the player that I wanted to go on as Dez is going to be able to spot out one going over there towards Bravo Flag. Gets a nice little back rage going on. White Knight will not be successful in that attempt. Recovery, though, getting right onto that Bravo Flag. will be able to pick up Saint and Soldier, but not going to be able to do anything onto that B Flag once again. And we are going to be seeing a massive spawn bomb back between Bravo and uh, and Charlie. And this could be a little bit dangerous here, Raj. Yeah, I mean, AOX were doing everything they needed to do. It's, uh, I mean, they've lost it a little bit here, but they, they were doing everything they've got to do, and they've just got to keep it up, keep putting Dez to the front. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Hey, Dez, go kill. Uh, <laughs> he, he's, he's the Hulk of that team. Look at that, already going 5-1. And, and oh, my God, can he make it 7-1? Wow. He does. Did you see that? Beautiful <laughs> that pickup beautiful. there as a nice two-piece onto that Bravo flag. Definitely doing some work for his team. Jin is also going to be up as well. He's going to be pushing back into that alpha flag through metal detectors. And we have a little bit of a glitch going on there. So we're going to switch over here to White Knight, who's playing a little bit more defensively, uh, trying to prevent any kind of uh, a spawn or uh, any players going up on that upper side. We'll be able to do just that. So nice job there. Dez is going to be back up as well. As uh, let's, just, let's just stick on here with Dez right now. What, what can Dez do? That's 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 the question. What would Dez do? As uh, he's going to be pushing in onto that uh, alpha flag. Do they know that there's at least one player here for RPG? Ooh. And it doesn't look like they do as uh, he does end up going down. White Knight, though, with a nice back rage. We'll be able yeah, to Yeah, really take important that out. kills. Yeah, really important kills. Just RPG taking control of this game. Only a 44 ticket um, lead there on the previous round, so AOX need to be a little bit careful here and make sure they're uh, picking those flags up. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that, that, that is something that we need to point out here, is that towards the middle of the game and towards the end, RPG was really looking hot. I mean, they had a 50 ticket deficit that they ended up coming back from and evening it up. Now, they did lose it there towards the end, but, I mean, to be able to bring it back from that, that's, that's fairly impressive. Yeah, exactly, yeah, and I mean, we always say 50 tickets is nothing, but that's only because we see the teams really pick up their pace and start doing what they know they need to be doing, and, um, you know, it's a mixture of the added pressure as well, and sometimes when you've got that 50 ticket lead, you, you start to relax, and you don't really do everything that you need to be doing, and AOX just need to keep strong and know that, you know, you lost locker, they've got to really win Dawnbreaker if they want to stand a chance of taking this scrim home. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's a, that's an extremely good point right there. Um, they they did you know relax maybe just a little bit too much, and that that gave them a chance to come back. We have seen that before uh, within other teams, and uh, we are going to be seeing uh, we are going to be seeing them though taking a a little bit of a of a I don't know I guess you say a backseat to it as we are going to be seeing two flags now burning in favor of RPG. And uh, that's going to be a slight little triple cap for just a few seconds. But uh, 
I think we are going to be having the rotates here from nice pickup there on White Knight. We'll be going down. Uh, we're going to be seeing the pickup there on the Charlie flag. So not quite a trip cap all the way. But uh, definitely looking good here for RPG if you're an RPG fan. 155 to 186. They're starting to get a lead of their own. And again, they're using that Alpha Bravo side, which what we've stated before, it's such a strong side to have. Uh, you have that, uh, you can go on to upper side, you can go over there on long A, prevent any kind of a back rages that may come. Plus, you have such a good positioning in onto that Bravo flag. Now really, it's just so dominant, but we are going to be seeing Exertus taking, uh, taking out Crevo right there. And now we're yeah. seeing a massive Zerg towards A. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I mean, you can see White Knight is saying, I want a bit of the action. He's going going MVP at the moment and really uh, pulling it off. He's died a couple of times in the last couple of seconds, so he's lost it. But he's really doing a good job for RPG. And again, you notice it's going 40 tickets in favor of RPG, but where's Dez? It's just, he's, he's doing well, but you know, the, the rest of the team, they need to pick it up, catch up with Dez. Well, you can't you can't just leave it on one guy. I mean, come on. No. But uh, Dez is doing a great job. Comes around the backside, sees two. We'll be able to pick up one. And does the teammate turn around? Doesn't look like he did. So nice pick up there as uh, Dez, once again, doing some work. Ends up not doing work there. I think he was going for a kit switch, actually. Uh, we'll be getting taken down. Crevo, though, uh, pushing back up onto B. And this is the caster's curse right here, guys. Everybody I'm selecting is dying. That's right. My KD is going to be perfect. Everybody I watch will die. Uh, but right now, 133 to 166 in favor of RPG. But uh, they're starting to slip a little bit here. Uh, we are going to be seeing that alpha flag burning. Uh, Crevo going to be pushing back up onto A. Looks like they took care of it, so they're definitely going to be looking good in that respect. And uh, once again, we are going to be seeing Dez trying to push up here through Skybridge. And they're taking a lot of damage in doing so. Yeah, and again, AOX need to be looking at the clock. They need to be looking at those points and thinking to themselves, right, we've... They're still in it at the moment, but uh, they, they don't need to win it. They just need to make sure that they bring RPG down below 44, and they'll get that win on Dawnbreaker. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's a good point right there. All they have to do is drive them below, what was it, 41 tickets? Uh, 43 uh, tickets. I've... 43 that, tickets, yeah, Yeah, that's sorry. it. So 43 tickets, that, that's all they have to drive and blow. But but then again, they're not even in the lead. And, and they, have, they have a fairly big deficit here themselves to have to come back from in order to do just that. So, uh, yeah, they, they got to be feeling a little bit worried, but definitely not too pressured at the moment. But i got to tell you what, the way RPG is playing, the way they're moving around the map, it is just looking so good. Yeah, they're doing everything they need to be doing, aren't they? They've got the double cap, almost lost it, but uh, again, going in for the triple. Yes, and they will be able to uh, get that triple cap as they lost the fight there on Skybridge. Another beautiful kill here for Recovery. We'll be able to take down uh, Bugsy, and he's also doing fairly well as well. He's going to be 13-4, and four, starting to beast it up for his team, so uh, definitely doing a good job there. And uh, we will be seeing C-Flag start to get capped out. And there's that upper side position that we were talking about before. Saints just gets knocked down. What was that from? That was from a Magnum from Jin. Too bad we didn't spot that, but a beautiful pickup yeah. there. As uh, he will be able to take him down. And uh, Exert's going to be pushing up through that Bravo side of the map. We have Mike Stad going to be pulling back. We do have a push coming in uh, right now on long A. But I think that we did have that taken care of quite easily there from RPG and now that was that was almost a full wipe right there as Exerts was the last player left back up. He's gonna allow his team to yeah. spawn in next to B flag, but is it gonna be enough here, man? Well RPG and I saw RPG like I say they've they did the perfect thing, they were pinching every AOX player. You know, an AOX player would go for an attack and instantly they'd just be pinched by two RPG players and I mean I, I don't know what AOX do here. I mean RPG are just looking so strong. Yeah, they, they are. They're, they're absolutely looking strong here. I mean, 49 to 156, they now have wow. more than a 100-ticket lead, which is more than enough in order to take this round. And they're, they're getting their frags. Their rotations are just beautiful. I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, C-Flag not even getting capped, so that's a huge blunder there as uh, we're not even going to be seeing AOX getting onto that Charlie flag, finally going to be getting somebody there to uh, get that cap. But, I mean, I think they're a little bit flustered here. Yeah, it's, again, momentum. It's gone in favor of RPG. Uh, they've got the nice lines set up. They're really working well together, getting the spawns in. And the next push from AOX is crucial. 
Yeah, absolutely. Crevo getting taken down as well onto that Bravo flag. Bugsy going to be coming around the corner. Uh, he is going to be able to get onto that B cap, no problem. Mike Sad also going to be contesting that as well here pretty soon, but not going to be making anything coming out of that. 26 tickets left to go. A little bit of pistol play coming out for uh, Zermi right now. And he will be successful in that takes down recovery. Nice play using that 93R, something that is definitely a uh, fairly popular weapon to use. And uh, Zermi also going to be pushing in onto that Charlie Cap. Spots out one from behind. Not going to be able to take him down. As now we're going to be seeing that two-flag bleed going back into the favor of AOX. And it, really, 142 tickets to 22. While it's possible, man, it's just highly unlikely, especially from the way they've been playing uh, this entire first or this entire second round. Yeah, and again, we, we pointed it out on... Uh... Pointed out in lockers when you look at the kills to deaths. I mean, uh, AOX are going negative 52 kills, 65 deaths, uh, and then you look at RPG and there's 79 kills and 33 deaths. It's just, well, it's just uh, RPG just doing well, they're just fragging, aren't they? Just it's fragging. just brutal, it's brutal. And uh, we already be seeing the shift there onto that alpha flag. It looks like Charlie will be getting taken here from AOX once again. And uh, I, I like the way that uh, that we're seeing. RPG plane. They recognize that, hey, the stronger flags right now are going to be Alpha and Bravo, and they're able to take that cap, and, and what it allows them to do is get all the high ground advantage. Um, they have, I would say, just uh, you know better positioning and uh, trying to get onto that Charlie cap. They're consistently harassing it right now, and with two tickets left to go, we are going to be seeing that going over into the favor of uh, RPG, taking round number two and map number two, and they will uh, technically have won the scrim, but I think we're going to be playing out the uh, I think we'll be able to play out the next map anyways, which will be Zavod. Am I correct? Yeah, the Zavod. Yeah, it, it should be uh, should be really interesting. It's again it, it laid out much like uh, lockers, um, so not not so linear. Um, you've got the you've got the three flags all in different points of the maps with those uh, constant random spawns. It's uh, it's going to be interesting. I mean, if RPG keep up the way they are, I mean, a hundred and thirty ticket lead on that round, then. You know, I can I can see it going in favor of RPG. AWEX need to step up a little bit again, get the kills going. And as you said, you can't blame it on one guy. And Des did everything he could do in that first round. But if uh, you know, the other guys in AOX, they start picking up their kills, you get keep the revives coming. They're gonna they're really well make it make it difficult for uh, RPG. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, I'm just gonna be asking right now. If, yeah, we are gonna be playing that last map. Uh, although, like we said before, officially RPG has won it, so uh, congrats to that. And uh, we are going to be casting this. Are you up for it, Raj? As I know, it's very late for you. Yes, yes, we're going to keep it coming. I want to see some Zavod. I want to see AOX prove me right, is more importantly. <laughs> I said at the beginning of this game, I uh, I felt that they were the fraggers, and, um, well, <laughs> RPG are proving me wrong. <laughs> they have proven you. <laughs> Absolutely wrong. Okay, so uh, right now we are going to be on Zavod. I would imagine that this is not going to be live. No, it's not going to be live, right? This can't be live. No. no I think they're, play they're playing it live, but uh, I would agree with you. I thought it could have been a burn round. Well, right now we are going to be treating it like it is alive. If it is, I feel really bad right now for AOX as they are immediately within a triple cap scenario. But Saints trying to hold on, not going to be able to do so. I don't think we are as Bugsy hasn't even spawned in yet. So uh, maybe maybe we're just going to be uh, waiting for a restart. But then again, who knows in this situation as uh, we don't really have direct contact with the teams uh, all that well. So right now, over here onto that alpha flag, we are going to be seeing Exert getting onto it. Uh, or, I'm sorry, Charlie flag. Uh, a flag does look like it's going into the favor of AOX. And then the Bugsy pulling out that pistol. Not going to be making anything happen. Though. That's going to leave A completely wide open. And uh, yeah, White Knight going to have basically an easy cap on A flag. Yeah, with, safe flag uh, there. Yeah, with uh, AOX trying to push back up onto Charlie. And they are going to be in a trip cap scenario once again. Yeah, RPG showing, showing who's boss, keeping the kills coming, and a little bit of an odd start, but nonetheless, it's, we're, we're live by the looks of it, and uh, they're doing a great job. They just got to keep it up. Yeah, we did have one player drop from AOX, so uh, not really sure what's going on there. 
as uh, right now we are going to be seeing Dez, though, just doing some work. Going to be able to take down one and two. That's going to be Crevo and Recovery both going down. Nice pickups as well as a third ends up trading out. So nice pickups going in here for Dez. Once again, just top fragging for AOX at the moment. And uh, Bugsy ends up going down onto that Charlie flag. Dez also going down, trying to get some reses going on, but not going to be successful in that. And finally, we're going to be seeing uh, Durka Oma join in here. As, he's from uh, uh, RPG Red, so he's on the opposite team. Yeah, he's on Red, and nobody likes Red, right? We're, we're, we're black fans here. So get out of here, Red. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we are going to be seeing Alpha and Bravo still in the favor right now of AOX. They have the bleed. It's 199, 174. So they are definitely looking fairly decent right now. But we have seen them taking that early lead within the round number one of Dawnbreaker. And we saw how that ended with uh, really RPG just coming out and blasting them away. Yeah, they are. And it looks here we've got Durka who's actually spawned in. So I wonder whether they've said to Durka, come on, come help us out. Um, uh, bringing the reinforcements here with Durka just to help out Simmons so their fifth guy dropped out. But I mean, yeah. Uh, it's going the right. It's what it's going in favor of RPG, and again, yeah, they're just showing what they've done in the last couple of rounds, and just keeping the kills coming, working together, showing that chemistry again. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, right now we are going to be seeing Bravo flag getting taken. Uh, Charlie flag actually might get taken as well. It looks like they are going to be able to save that flag. That was RPG on there, uh, getting that Charlie flag for their uh, for their team. We do have a uh, Crevo spawning back up. Nice spawn actually back behind Alpha. That's going to allow him to get a, a nice touch there. And then also another back spawn over there next to A as well. White Knight going to be shifting back over there towards that A flag. He's going to be in tunnels. But as that's happening, we have Zermi with a nice trade out there on that should be able to uh, stop that cap. Or I'm sorry, stop uh, or start that cap. And his teammates will be able to finish that up. So nice job there. And uh, yeah, so now we are going to be seeing RPG just once again looking like they're getting bullied around the map. Yeah, they are, and hopefully AOX can get um, set up nicely across this BC cap. It's a uh, it's a tricky map for sure. Um, I just I'd be interested to see what AOX do here, but they really need to get up set get set up, and they need to get set up fast. Yeah, no doubt about it. And I really don't think that they have any setups for this particular map, just because obviously they don't play Dom that much. Now the rooftops are banned, so we're not going to be seeing any rooftop play coming out for either of these teams. And uh, that is definitely a game changer if they're used to playing it for pubs. But uh, right now we do see Charlie Fly going in favor of RPG. White Knight going to be shifting back over next to those crates. We'll be able to spot him out. That's going to be Dez. Takes him down. So nice job there as Dez is going to be 13-5. and five. The only player actually in the server in the double digits doing a really great job. Recovery going to be pushing up through uh, mid right now in those tunnels. And it uh, looks like he's going to be waiting for his teammates. Uh, whether they're going to be pushing onto Alpha or not. And do we have anybody over there towards that A push? Yeah, Jin using that uh, F2000 once again. And what do you think about this F2000? Do you like it? Again, I'm not a fan. It's all, it's all right for pubs, but competitive, I think that's extremely brave. Um, it's not, it's by far, it's not the best gun to use, but uh, it's uh, by all means, uh, you know, it's a standard gun. And I'm, I take my hat off to Jen for using it in this game. Yeah, he was able to get a nice two piece there. So props to him, and uh, with that Bravo flag, going to be getting flashed right now. Let's take a look over onto B. Nobody actually there to defend here for, uh, for RPG. White Knight going to be shifting back over there, see if he can take care of this. Spots out one. Uh, will not be able to get the pick on it. Oh, hello! As uh, White Knight turns the corner, Dez saying hi. We'll be able to take him down. Mike Sad uh, going to be trying to take, get a couple of picks over there for that, uh, that C flag. Not going to be able to do so. Recovery, though, spotting that back out. He ends up going down. So, yeah, we're just seeing RPG just starting to lose out on a lot of these frags here. Crevo also going down. We have White Knight uh, pushing back in onto A flag. See if he can't save it here. C flag will be getting uh, burned down. And, uh, yeah, we're seeing everybody pretty much stuck back here onto that alpha cap. Uh, looks like Jin is just going to be AFK right now, sitting back there munching on some pizza probably. But uh, Crevo with those reses onto that alpha flag, finally going to be getting it back for his team. 116-141 with uh, AOX right now in the lead. Yeah, it's uh, AOX have been fantastic this round. Every every time uh, RPG have gone to get a flag, they've gone to the opposite flag. They've they've started burning it. That's meant they've RPG have had to split up. And uh, I mean, again, you know, they're picking up the frags after that, and AOX are. Going strong this round with about a 30 ticket lead almost. 
Yeah, Omo right there taking out Jin. Jin should have just stuck with eating his pizza. Because he could have stayed alive. But unfortunately, decided to pick up his controller. Maybe he had some greasy fingers and could not get the picks there. But uh, Oma able to get him down. So nice job there. C-Flag will be returning in favor of RPG. Mike Sad shifting back around towards that middle flag. And uh, we're also seeing Kriva going over there towards A as well. And it's going to be shaping up to be a two-on-two -two with the Oma shifting back over. I don't think they know that Krivo is actually here onto this flag. They don't. Krivo making, making a really nice play there, waiting up until Mike Sad uh, actually pushed up onto the burn as well before they ended up uh, making that initial push. And that's going to force uh, that's going to force AOX right now to kind of back up. They're not going to be able to get in onto that flag as quickly as they want to. And a nice pickup there for Krivo as he will be able to take down Zermi. And oh my god, we're going to be seeing recovery there with a nice back rage on Oma. And that's going to leave them with that AB, uh, AB setup right now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, again, it's uh, we, we can't see this happen again to AOX. We, we saw it happen previously. They got that lead, and uh, it happened on the second round of Dawnbreaker. I think they got that lead. And uh, within a couple of seconds, within a couple of kills, RPG had turned it around. They start to take control of the map, and before you know it, you know the lead is balanced again, and we saw RPG take, the, take Dawnbreaker because of it. Yeah, absolutely. 85 to 111. RPG starting to bring it back. Bugsy uh, going to be shifting back over there towards that alpha flag. We also have uh, Oma pushing up through mid. He gets taken down. Saints going to be following that back up, though. 5 and 7. And uh, he is uh, going to try and be looking for this last player. Zermi ends up going down as well. That's Krivo now. Uh, he's a bit on a tear as he ends up taking down a third, I believe. So nice job there. Let's take a look over here on Krivo's point of view as he's going to be now 15 and 8. Top fragging for the whole server. No, Dez is top fragging for the whole server. 22 and 10. Let's take a look over here at what Dez can do. Dez is going to die here in just a second if he's not careful. Has to back up onto that A flag once again. And we are going to be seeing uh, RPG taking the lead for the first time within this round. RPG showing their dominance again. AOX have just lost control. This is what I was saying they couldn't afford to do. And they've got to go back to what they started out doing and they need to start working a bit better together they need to make sure they take down rpg and constantly be flipping from map to map and you know they need to keep rotating yeah absolutely jin getting rezzed up here uh gets taken down as soon as he's rezzed actually uh, also oma going to be getting taken down as well and there's just so much death happening over here guys it is crazy to follow saints is going to be back up onto that c flag dez still going to be back up as well 24 and 10 going to be stretching out that kd quite a bit and uh, we are going to be seeing a 79-69 and a possible trip cap now here for AOX. So, yeah, this is just going back around and around and around to these teams. They really can't decide, um, you know, how they want to play. Do they want to play aggressive? Do they want to play defensive? And uh, really right now, it, it seems like they're swinging over from one side to the other. They need to find that happy medium between, you know, who, who's going to be staying back to defend the flag, who's going to be pushing back up. And uh, really, nobody can make up their mind. But we do have a uh, back rage coming in here for Oma. As uh, he will be able to spot out one within that Charlie flag. Not going to be able to get the pick on him. Goes down. And now it's only going to be one player back up. That's going to be Dez. As uh, really, they're, they're in a little bit of a trouble here. Is that once again, that two flag bleed going back in the favor of RPG. 67-55. But Dez coming in here, going big. Able to get two kills. We'll be able to get Rez back up. But we also have... Uh, who was that? That was going to be... Oh my gosh, I, I can't use this PlayStation 4 controller right now. It's 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 not agreeing with me, guys. As uh, Oma gets taken down as well. Recovery finally going to get back up. And yeah, going to be getting that Bravo Charlie hold. Which is probably the, the better hold to have on this particular map. Is that BC hold. Yeah, yeah, it looks it. I mean, um, for teams that have played next to none... Uh, next to no a 5v5 domination, they're, they're both doing really well and uh, both teams looking really strong. I mean, this is a close game. It's a 30 ticket lead at the moment in, in favor of RPG. But uh, AOX turning it around a little bit and fingers crossed for the RPG fans, we can, uh, we can turn this back around. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, RPG has technically already won the scrim, but they're going to be playing this map out anyways because they need the practice as uh, this is the first time I think that both of these teams actually played 5v5. Um, on these maps, so uh, they're definitely going to be trying to learn every spot, every little situation in order to come out on top there. Dez is going to be back up. Has he dropped that 30 bomb yet? No, he's 28 and 13. Going to make that 29 and 14. 
We're going to be trying to reach those 30 kills before the end of the match. But this is actually the closest match I think that we've had so far. Look at this, 58 to 18. And uh, we are going to be seeing that two-cap bleed, I think, shifting over here towards uh, AOX. Yeah, 17 tickets. This is, this is the last, well, I say last opportunity, but it's, it's nearing the last opportunity. It's, that it's now or never, really, for AOX. Yes, it is. Mike Sag going to be able to spot out one. Will not be connecting with any of those shots. And now Bravo Flag going into the favor here of RPG. It looks like they might be able to get the burn here. 12 tickets left to go. The music should be playing right now, and it is. And uh, we are going to be seeing that getting burned down. But wait, C Flag is going to be getting flashed right now. White Knight shifting back around there to that Alpha Flag. We do have a one-on-one -on -one shaping up. Bugsy comes out on top in that exchange. And uh, now we are going to be seeing that bleed once again going back in. And while they may not win this one, they are going to be trying to bleed down as many tickets. You know, every ticket that you can bleed down is going to help in the second round. That's going to allow them to come back and, uh, and, and win it just a little bit easier. And uh, we are going to be seeing RPG, though, finishing out. It looks like onto that Charlie cap. No, Dez still going to be back up. Gets the nice hip fire spray there. And going to make it a second one as well. Crevo goes down, but they can't really spawn in too many people. they got to be careful here. Got to be getting all of their reses. Oh, my God. Dez just on a roll. Look at this. Massive chaos going on as he's just killing everybody that jumps in onto that Charlie flag. And now it's 3-36. to 36. They're bleeding him down slowly, but surely Crevo going to be coming in. And he might actually be taken down. Bugsy goes down uh, as well as Crevo. Mike Sag going to be back up. Can they clean out the last of these players? One ticket left. There it is, 32-0. to zero. As we really saw AOX starting to heat it up there towards the end and, and almost pull it, pull it back. Yeah, I mean, that again, it goes back to it. there's no experience here on 5v5 domination, but it just shows these players know what they're doing. It was, what, six tickets to 45, 46 tickets? And within the space of the, the, the five tickets that AOX lost, they managed to drag RPG down by a good 12, 13, possibly 15 tickets. And uh, again, AOX just showing their experience there and knowing what they've got to do. Well, there for a while, you know, it was 60, 6 0 to 15. And they were able yeah. to drag that down to 32. So, yeah, they were able to cut that basically in half. And that's going to make it a lot easier coming around in the second uh, in the second round to try and win this out. It's only 32 tickets. And, you know, they started to come back there a little bit towards the middle. But, uh, you know, that breakout really did hurt them. Um, I I'm sorry. I'm thinking of RPG there. RPG had the worst breakout there, didn't they? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what comes out here as uh, RPG just once again coming from behind and, and just taking the win. Yeah, I mean, they're showing strong still. They've got five rounds out of uh, out of five, and I'd like to see uh, AOX pick up a round this time around. And I think, you know, five rounds, they, sh they should know what they're doing at this point. They've played Zavod um, on the last one, so fingers crossed uh, for the AOX fans that they can uh, begin to pick this up again. Yeah, absolutely, and here is the shift coming out. We have Mike Sad pushing up through mid. Uh, we do have a 3-2 uh, split right now as uh, Omar with a nice back rage there, but he is not going to be able to be successful in that. Uh, Bugsy is going to be pushing, or I'm sorry, Dez is going to be pushing back up uh, through mid right now. He gets taken out from behind, and now we are going to be seeing a full wipe here for RPG. They completely wiped out the other team, and this right here is huge, guys. As, uh, yeah, we are going to be seeing, I mean, what can they do? What can they do off of this? They're going to be losing that alpha flag. It will be getting contested here. And uh, can Zermi clean it off as uh, they're finally going to be winning it back? But that that right there is a terrible start. And not one, especially when you're behind in tickets, not one that you want to have. No, oh, and uh, that's a, literally a perfect start for, for RPG. I think they'll be uh, patting themselves on the back for that start. Um, they've got a new player in here, Clutch Time. I'm not familiar with him myself, but... Um, yeah, he's he's doing his uh, doing his job at the moment, and uh, again, AOX need to reform, rethink this, and get back into it. White Knight there with another pickup there with that AEK will be able to uh, stop any kind of push on Bravo. Another pickup there on Bugsy, as he will be able to clean out mid. Not before Saint Soldier though takes him down. Doesn't have to because clutch time there uh, will be able to save him. We do have Dez pushing back out once again. Not going to be able to get those last picks, but it's a two on two here on Bravo flag as Oma will be coming around into those tanks. Looks like he's going to be getting suppressed quite a bit, but clutch time going clutch right here with a nice two-piece. Can he make it a three? He doesn't have to. His teammates end up cleaning that up, 
but we'll be able to get the three cap in their favor. And RPG just looking oh so good. 195 to 213 coming out of the gate swinging. They're not going to be giving anything here back to AOX. It's, I mean, that this is just great, great play on this map. Well, I'm looking forward to see these guys play a 5v5 defuse because uh, AOX, they're going to have some serious uh, revenge to pay for RPG. But RPG, they're just looking so strong on this 5v5 dom. It's, uh, it's scary. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it would be interesting to see how this would turn out for Diffuse because once again that's not going to be based on uh, a really a respawn game. You know that's a, that, that's a little bit slower game. Uh, it takes a, a lot more time uh, to put pushing back up. So uh, it would be interesting to see how that turns out. AOX though trying to clean out mid. Uh, Bugsy coming around the corner with that pistol misses every single shot, and uh, he will be going down as well. Alpha Bravo flag still in favor here of uh, of AOX. So they are looking pretty good. Going to be evening up that score quite a bit. 166 to 208. RPG still back behind, but uh, not 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 by a whole lot. Once again, guys, they do have a 32 uh, ticket lead. I believe it was. Yes, it was a 32 ticket lead. So they're 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 definitely going to be looking fairly decent here. Yeah, it's 100 120 tickets. Ox have got to keep now. RPG have got to keep doing what they're doing. They're doing everything right. Nice little line across B and C there. And, I think they've let, let it slip a little bit, but RPG looking pretty strong. Yes, they are. And just everybody coming in here, just, they're just not winning any of their fights. Every single person that I'm selecting right now is dying. And uh, they're just not able to get any kind of headway whatsoever. Uh, if we take a look, it was uh, two players down, one and six, Bugsy. Mm, that is painful right there. Uh, we are going to be seeing recovery, though, on the other side. Four and two, seven and four for Crevo, seven and one for Mike Sad. He's actually been stepping up, and we haven't really seen a whole lot here from Mike Sad throughout the entire match. He's kind of been just that uh, that guy that's that's there. He's been he's been able to hold it down when he needs to, but he hasn't been that flashy player like Jin or uh, like Dez, you know, really getting those heavy heavy. Uh, um, uh, KD's going on, but he's definitely been a solid player throughout this entire match, and uh, he's going to be back here onto that Bravo flag, going to be able to provide a couple of spawns coming in. Now it's now going to be a two-on-two -two back here next to B. Saints is going to be pushing up onto those tanks, get a little bit of a high ground advantage. Has to be careful, though, to make sure he doesn't stick too much out. Bugs are going to be up as well. It looks like they uh, are, feel pretty confident about this. Mike Sad going to be the last one back up. And uh, he's just looking around for this, these last two players. Finds one, finally going to be able to take down, I believe that was Saints. And uh, now he's going to be trying to make it a second one. Does not do so. Ends up getting taken out. And we are going to be seeing that Bravo flag, though, slowly going into the favor of RPG. Yeah, Mike, Sad, and Clutch Time really performing well together there. They've, uh, I don't know how much experience they've got together, but as I was speaking to uh, a couple of players before this game, um, players in the community were all saying, Mike Sad, believe it or not, is uh, nominated tonight as their, um, the best player on RPG, apparently the best infantry player, which uh, is quite surprising from what we've seen this evening, uh, with, uh, especially with Jen's performance on uh, Operation Locker. But again, Mike Sad going absolutely ham, 10-1. and one. Yeah. Going ham when he needs to. Gets taken down, though, so it'll be 10 and 2. Breaking his record just a little bit, but I think he's going to be okay. 139, 153 in favor of RPG. Only about a 20 ticket hold right now. Alpha Flag goes into their favor, but we do have a three man push coming in on the backside of A, and they will be able to get the touch on the flag. So uh, Oma here going to try and get that burn as fast as possible. We'll be able to do so, but at the same time, we have a rotation onto that Charlie flag. And uh, like I said, once again, RPG just with really, really good rotations uh, right now. And uh, we are going to be seeing White Knight spawning out one. Doesn't have to. It's going to be clutch time taking him down. And uh, now they're going to be threatening here for a trip cap once again. Crevo's going to be back up, pushes in onto the alpha flag. And RPG just not putting down the gas. They are throttling it. And they are just hanging on for the ride. Oma just trying to survive here, dodging those bullets every which way. So low on health, not really sure what he can do. As it is going to be a one-on-two situation. That's what he's going to be able to do is take down one. Oma also coming around the corner. Nice, going huge for his team. Krivo goes down, and this is going to allow them to have some back spawns on Alpha. And now they're going to be pressuring here onto that Charlie flag. So they could actually be switching this back up and going for a three cap of their own. If they win out on B flag here, this is going to be huge here, Garage, and could be the turning point in this match. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, it's going again. It's just going really well for AOX. They're pulling their socks up, 
are really doing what they need to be doing to kind of pull this back together and it's still a 40 ticket lead but I've got faith yeah, unfortunately, clutch time going. Clutch going to be able to get two kills of his own. 102, 146. The two clap, cap bleed going to be in favor here of uh, AOX here in just a second as they will be able to get that Charlie flag. Mike Sad, though, coming down through mid. Surprise! We'll be able to take down Bugsy and can assist on one more. And just, just I, I can't say it enough. The rotations here from RPG are just beautiful. I mean, they really are. And it's like these guys have played Domination before. Uh, four or fives. It, it's really looking uh, top-notch. Zermi going to be pushing back. Oh, my God. That was a – did you see that? Zermi reading that. Oh, my God. That was a beautiful play there. Knowing where he was going to come out from. Switches back over to him. No problem. Takes him down. And will be able to have that A-cap for his team there. Uh, clutch time. Also going to be pushing up through mid. Will be able to take down Bugsy. 84-139. It's getting a little scary right now. Only about 50 tickets here to play with for AOX. And once again, just just the rotations. The rotations, man. Well, the how do you compete with it? Yeah. How do you compete with it? Uh, I just, I'm, I'm staring at this game and I'm thinking, what can you do to beat RPG at this stage? Well, I can definitely say that right now they need to start winning out on a lot more of their team fights. They're losing a lot of their team fights. Uh, they need to uh, start playing a little bit more defensively on the flag that they have. Uh, they've been zerging a lot here. And while that's working for RPG just because they're, uh, they're a flag ahead and they can do that, uh, you know, while you're, oh, nice double kill there for Zermi as he will be able to take down Karivo and Clutch Time with that pistol. But, uh, you know, when you're in this particular situation, you got to play a little bit defensive. So, um, you know, they do have the two-cap bleed right now. They, they have, I would say, the stronger two-cap bleed with that uh, Bravo and Charlie flag, and they just need to hold it. They need to play somewhat defensively here. Maybe send one player across the map. See, right now they're playing way too aggressive through mid. They should not be pushing mid right th like they are right now, yeah. and now that's going to give the chance here for White Knight and Mike Sad a direct line through Charlie flag, and they have no spawns over there. The random spawns are probably going to be back behind Bravo, maybe behind Alpha if they're lucky. But no, they decide to just spawn in on other teammates. We'll be going for that Alpha cap. But as they're going for the top, look at the rotation. Look at this. Mike Sad and Clutch Time are already in a position. They get a pick, and they could go out to that Bravo flag if they wanted to. Yeah, and we, we've seen it time and time again. AOX slightly slow to respond on uh, the rotations. And then on the other hand, you've got RPG, who, as we've seen there, just they just know. They just know what they're doing. They know when to rotate. They know where to rotate. And they've got no experience on these game modes. It's just, uh, they're just doing so well. Yeah, absolutely. So right now, 38 tickets left to 114. We are going to be seeing RPG basically sweeping, only losing one round. I believe that was the first round on Domination, was it not? Or on Dawnbreaker? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and it was only a, it was only a 44 ticket as well. Yeah, so they are definitely just beasting it up right now within the Domination sector. And, you know, in your opinion right now, what do you think is going to be the best team to switch over there to Diffuse? Now, you, you're a little bit more familiar with the teams um, within the Diffuse ladders. You, you know who they are. Who do you think is going to be making the best transition other than RPG? Uh, other teams completely? Anybody on the ladder? Yeah, just, just anybody right now in comp uh, that could transition over to Dom and definitely make some waves. I think... Ah, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a, almost an impossible question, really. I mean, the teams that are, have been thrashing out the, the Diffuse, the teams that are playing the most scrims and the, t the teams that have got the most experience from Battlefield 3 are, are definitely going to be up there. I mean, you've got Arsenic. Um, they're good. Again, you've got Rise. I think Rise are going to do a really good job um, of, of coming across as well. And Infinity, another team who uh, have come out of nowhere almost. I, I kind of feel like there was a game yesterday that they managed to pick up um, again, quite surprising, and uh, like I say, I think TAO, uh, uh, I think they would do quite well on Domination. They're struggling a little bit on Diffuse, but Domination, I think they'd be pretty strong. All right, so there you have it. Raj right there throwing out those knowledge bombs. Definitely be looking out for those teams coming in here for Domination, as uh, I could definitely see some uh, exciting and awesome moments going to be shaping up uh, here in competition 
and then in the coming months, especially when we start getting some of these uh, these tournaments going to be rolling out, I'm definitely be excited for it. Hopefully, I'll be able to cast some for it. And uh, we are going to be seeing, all right, like I said, just finishing it up this match right now as officially RPG has won this. So uh, congratulations there as they take five rounds to uh, to AOX's one. And uh, really yeah. surprising, even Raj here, as who would be uh, the better team within this, uh, this in this game mode. So definitely some good stuff here. And, and Raj, from your opinion, how did you like what you saw here today? It's, it's, uh, it's been interesting. There's both teams. Um, it, it would be so easy for us to sit here and say both teams were lacking, but for for the lack of experience, they both done extremely well, and even AOX as well. Um, at the at the end there, I think um, you know AOX started to get a bit of a grasp on what they were doing. Um, it's uh, like I say, really well played both teams. Um, but up, coming up, I just I'm so excited really to see these teams really get their strats down, really get their chemistry building, especially for AOX because we know they haven't been that active recently. Once they've um, 